action. <laughs> All right. I'm going to show you how to work up a chicken today. I don't pluck them. I skin them. I just think it's easier. There's no need to have all the skin laying around. That's just what I do. I've already cut the chicken's head off, and it ran around like a chicken with its head cut off, like you hear your grandparents talk about. I'm not going to show that part. You can either wring your neck, cut their head off. They're going to do what they're going to do. So this is where I start. Uh, this is a hen. We've been finding out that the hens skin out better than the roosters do. Whole hen, just her head cut off. So the first thing I'm going to do is... I'll take the wing and right here at this last joint, I'm gonna cut the last joint off the wing. So I just put it on a block. Put it on a block, take a cleaver, cut that off, just like that. Take the other side, cleaver, just like that. All right, then on the legs, you don't use anything above this bottom, this knee bone, I guess, I'm gonna cut that off. Same thing on this leg, cut it off. All right, so there I am. Now what I'm gonna do is I can take it and start peeling the skin. If I can find a break in the skin somewhere, I'll start there. Just like that. All right, so I've got the skin broke. At this point, all you do is you start pulling and you can just pull the skin off the chicken. Now. With the roosters, been having to cut a hole in the skin. They're just, they're tougher. They're roosters. You're going to get that. But on these hens, they've been skinning out pretty well. I pull the leg out. Pull the leg out of this one. Just continue pulling that skin off. It rips real easy. It's okay to rip. We're not going to keep it. We're not going to skin it out or anything. In case you're wondering, yes. Chicken is balking at you a little bit. Their voice boxes are down in their chest cavity, not in their head or their throat. So that part's still attached. It's not talking to us from the other side. All right, so I come up, get to the wings. And at the wings, you're still just pulling skin off. All right. So you got skin off the wing and you come down to this part right here. What I've been doing, I take my knife, trim that little bit, grab the feathers right here and pull. You wanna be sure to pull all the feathers off that bottom part of the wing tip right there. There's not a lot of meat on the wing tip, so you don't even wanna fool with it. You can cut there instead of that last tip joint. Totally up to you. Do the same thing over here. If you're wanting about a knife, it is an SC Zancudo and the SV35. It's a fantastic knife. I carry it with me all the time. It's just a good knife. There's the SC name on it. I use it for about everything. All right. I'm going to have the feathers down here for the tail. Pull off what I can. Just like that. So at this point, we still have the neck. still have this tail parts covered in feathers. That's fine. Still have all the guts in it. We're going to get to that. So the next thing I want to do is I want to cut that neck bone off. Put it on the block, cleaver, cut it off. Looks almost just like that scene from A Christmas Story. And the tail, I'm going to do the same thing. All right. So here we are. All that's cut off. We're going to start taking the insides out. There's a line right here. I don't know, anytime you're doing a chicken with you're skinning it you're cutting it up there's usually a line where you're supposed to cut uh, we'll do a processing video some other time but we will cut on that line get it open a lot of it just tears all right now this is the the vent area so what i'm going to do is i want to cut that side meat off so that i can come down here and cut down around the vent port Without cutting the vent part, I just want to cut it around it. That way it all comes out in one piece. Just like that. That's cut off, and then you just simply grab the inside and you can pull it out. Now we've cleaned a couple of these today that's had eggs up in them. You can just pull them out, throw them away, do whatever. No big deal. 
I like to grab this little fleshy part right here in the neck and cut it out. All right, so if you can see on the inside, if you can zoom in on it, that's actually little baby chicken eggs right there getting ready to develop. So this was a hen, they're supposed to be there. That's what they do. But we have too many and this is what we do when we have too many chickens. And then, just that small. One thing I try to do when I do this is keep a clean workstation. You don't get as much stuff on the chicken as you kind of clean it. Okay. They get them rinsed off. I'm going to clean it a little bit further later on, but uh, you can freeze it. It's good to go in the freezer right now. One thing we've learned is if you try to cook them and eat them right after you kill them, they're kind of tough and gamey. If you'll uh, put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in the refrigerator for a couple of days, four or five days, they'll tenderize a good bit and they won't have that gamey taste and they'll cook up a whole lot better. It's also a lot easier to cut them up if you're going to process it up, cut all the different cuts of meat off. But that's a homegrown chicken. That's what it looks like.